What did you make of that, Dave? I thought my players gave everything they've got and some more. Um, I thought the first half was a bit of a non-event from our point of view. Uh, we didn't move the ball anywhere near quick enough. Um, conceded ridiculously. Um, crappy goal. Direct play. Straight from the goalkeeper. Two more touches in the back of our net. Three touches in the back of our net. I thought we controlled the game without hurting him or trying to hurt him. Then the big decision. But the referee had already lost the game at that point. Um, because of the amount of dives that their players had that Yank clamped down on. You know, Carruthers had kicked the ball into the net over the goalkeeper 35 yards away. Somebody else had kicked the ball away that didn't think he penalised. And he's lost the game at that point. Then he makes a big decision. Right or wrongly, big decision. But then, second half, and then that's, that's all I'm going to say to the referees, because that's when he's got beat by today. Um, second half, we've come out, we've come out fighting and deservedly taken the lead. Then we've conceded that we've shot ourselves in the foot. And then the referee comes to the centre of attention again and gives a perfectly, a brilliant tackle, a penalty. You can't legislate for that. You can't legislate for that. Um, as much preparation as we've done, you can't, you can't legislate for a referee getting so much wrong. And, but the best thing about it is his boss, Mike Jones, head of all the referees, has been here to see. It. And the referees let him down today. Never mind us and all the fans and um, the players. He's let his boss down today. But that's it. You, you know, I don't want to speak about referees, but when they're that bad mm. and that they give so much to one team, that's not me saying I'm, he's biased because I get in trouble for saying that. When he gives that much one way, we can't help but talk about it. We've just been saying it off camera, all of us. You can't help but talk about him. And he'll go back to being an architect or a maths teacher on Monday morning, thinking, no, it's wrong. Referee again on Tuesday night, and everything will be unkidori. It stinks. You got back with some you know, real determination and play, and goal from Eddie Nolan, goal from Tuma, and then they as well. Did you just feel at that time that your players might have just got carried away because they were really on top and could have just pulled them together? And, and, and again, it's easy to get carried away from one down after ten men and two one up. It's one of the things I said. I said one of the big learning curves for us today is two one up. Were we... Um, did we do the inside of the game for that five-minute spell? I don't know what the difference the time is between the two goals was. Between us going two one and two all, but I don't think it was a long time. And I said, did we then really understand the game. We've got 10 men with 2-1 ahead. Are we still gung-ho? Are we, are we still trying to get a third? Or are we going, hang on, shut up shop for 20 minutes? Here we go. Come on, be hard to beat. Because we weren't for that five-minute spell. Or, or the goal. I just waltzed in. Uh, second phase set-piece, which is what they score. I think three of their seven goals before today have come from second phase set-pieces. So we'd know about it. We've told them about it. And that was a real disappointing thing. That's something that we can... You know, roughly, there's no blame in that one. But it's the only goal, uh, well, two goals that we've got something to do about. The third goal we, we can't do anything about because the referees, the referees give a penalty.